First of all, a big thanks to PCBWay for making this video possible. PCBWay is currently hosting the fifth PCB design contest where you can submit original designs to be judged and potentially win cash prizes, store credit, and a Raspberry Pi 4. You heard right. Those have been hard to find recently. If you are interested in looking into this, I'll leave a link down below. The last day for submission of any of your projects is December 31st, 2022. Get your design submitted and good luck to all of you. Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 8.6, and today I'm taking a look at Edifier's G2000, and these sure do not disappoint, especially when comparing them to the G1000s. I'd venture to say they're a thousand times better. Ah. I looked at the G1000s not too long ago, and I've got to say these are miles, kilometers for those of you distasteful of the Imperial system, ahead of those speakers, falling a bit shy of the E25s for the full well-roundedness, but offering a couple trade-offs that make it completely forgivable. Here's a quick sound test featuring Liquid's Taste It for comparison. Remember, these are recorded speakers playing back over your current listening device, Listen for detectable differences as they play because it's not going to be as good as in-person quality. The are 32 watt powered speakers with a two and three quarter inch driver. They're small form factor speakers that offer a stylish uplift and a fairly decent sound for the seat in the market that it has. They include in the box an AC adapter, TRS 3.5 millimeter, and a USB A to A cable for wired connectivity. Rear connections are USB for digital, your aux in for analog, and a sub out for adding a little bit more bass down the road. The master speaker is the right one and it has captive cables and is captive cabled to the left one. I'm not a fan of captive cables, I never will be. And all controls are intuitive and can be located on the right speaker on the left side of the right speaker. We're going to start in the middle though with the volume rocker. The volume rocker is in between two multifunction buttons that allow you to click it up and down for independent volume control. So you can dab it up for volume up and dab it down for volume down. Just below the volume rocker is our first multifunction button. A short press swaps between these modes. Game mode, movie mode, music mode. And long pressing allows you to swap between multiple static color lights, as well as breathing single color lights or a rainbow effect light. And if you don't want the lights on, you can eventually get to a one feature that just turns the lights off altogether. Accent lights are located on the rear and they are a nice touch, but the diffused light looks best at night spilling onto a wall or surface for that ambient glow. You won't get much of it during the daytime. At least in my office, it's a little bit too bright to really notice. Now above the volume, rocker is that top button. It is the second multifunction button and let me go over that real quick. Long press will power it on or off and short press swaps between aux input, USB input, Bluetooth input. That's right, it's Bluetooth. Getting these right out of the box and setting them up, they are very simple to figure out. They offer great value and sound, especially in limited spaces where a little extra flair can be added also. These are almost everything the G1000 should have been from the start. If I were to compare these to something, I would say they're probably competitively comparable to the Logitech MX Sound series but they offer a little bit more oomph and satisfaction. In person, the sound is balanced, the speakers can get quite loud, and being able to add a subwoofer down the road if you decide you want a little bit more bass, that offers a lot of value in my book. These get a huge thumbs up from me. I really like these a heck of a lot more than those G1000s. Edifier got it right here, with maybe the exception of continuing captive cable trends. I'd like to see speakers that we could swap cables on. If something happens to that cable, well, you might just be out of luck. Guys, I hope this was somewhat helpful and useful to you, and you took something away from it. I'll see you guys in the next video I do. You have a great day, night, whatever it is.